So you know how when you see something on the internet and you get really mad and frustrated and then you watch it again, it's like, oh, it wasn't that bad. But then there's other things you watch and you just get more angry and more angry and more frustrated and more embarrassed, more infuriated every time you watch it. Well, check this video out. This is apparently what Justin Trudeau likes happening in this country. There's a bunch of people here ripping up and burning our flag. So if you were discretion advised, because you're probably going to get just as pissed off of it as I am. And um, so, yeah, let's react to this and then we'll talk about it after like usual. Thankfully, that wasn't too long of a video, but I think they made their point pretty clear. Now, I remember a couple years ago when there were people protesting on the streets, not doing anything like this, and they were called violent. They were called terrorists. They were called the fringe minority. A lot of them were even made to be criminals, and they're trying to still put people in jail for it now. They froze bank accounts over it because they were preaching violence, blocking off roads. And now here you are, these protesters have been blocking off roads in Toronto the whole time, making a bunch of noise, right? Remember the, remember the left-wing crybabies? Oh, they're honking their horns. We can't sleep. Think you can sleep through this shit? What are you even talking about? Doesn't even make any sense. And here you have Justin Trudeau who sees this. You know he's seen this. And he's allowing it to happen. Imagine if you or I went to pretty much anywhere else in the world and did something like that to their flag. What do you think would happen? Go to the middle of Texas, some little town. Take the American flag and do that. See what happens. Not good. Go to Iran. Go to Iraq. Do that to one of their flags. See what happens. Do that in China. What happens? I mean, I, I'm almost at a loss for words. And it, for Justin Trudeau to see this happen is happening. He knows it's happening, obviously. And he's just going, oh, well. Who cares? It's just our flag. I mean, why not, right? He's ruined the country enough already. Taxing people into poverty. Criminalizing protesters. But not these ones. No, no, no. This would be racist. To do anything about these protesters. But when they're Canadians and they're white, oh, what a bunch of far right racists they are. It's just, I mean, this is just, you know, disgusting when you see people come here who hate the country and they're allowed to stay even after they commit crimes. I'm not saying all of them do, of course, but some of them commit crimes. They're allowed to stay here. They do this to our flag, allowed to stay here. Getting deported from another country for doing that to their flag, I think is pretty reasonable. If you want to come here, in which I have no problem with immigration, as long as it's managed. And if you want to come here, you want to enjoy our way of life, then fine. But respect our way of life. Respect our flag. Don't be burning it. What are you burning it for? You're, they're chanting about Israel. This isn't our fight. This is between, the, listen, the Middle East has been at war for, what, 80 years? That's got nothing to do with ripping up our flag. It's got nothing to do with us. It's something we should not be involved in. But and again, you know, you, you just see. I'm trying to watch my language here because I know some of you have been commenting, hey, try to watch like I understand. But boy, does this piss me off. I mean, in it, I've, I've watched this video probably 10 times and every time I watch it, I just got more pissed off and more pissed off. And it's just like. What Trudeau has allowed to happen, I mean, and this isn't the first or the tenth or the hundredth thing wrong with Trudeau's Canada. But it's just, here's just another example. And now, now they're just spitting in our faces. They're just ripping up our flag, setting it on fire. I mean, we are the laughing stock of the world. I mean, it's, it's so embarrassing 
to have to tell people well, what's wrong with you guys up there? Well, why do you keep voting in Justin Trudeau? Are you guys stupid? And it's like, yeah, I guess you get tired of it. Like, like where, where's our actual leader here? Where's we, we need, we need someone else. And again, I, I'm not going to continue to, you know, polish Pierre Paul, you have shoes for him, but I'm just saying, I have a feeling, even if you think that he's very similar to Justin Trudeau, for some reason, you got to think that he would not allow this to happen. There would be consequences for these actions. But anyway, before I get too pissed off here, I'm going to stop this rant a little bit and uh, cut it short. So let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think that it's right for people to come to the country and then hate the country who's taken care of them and then disrespect their flag? Really curious to see the comment section on this one. Uh, Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back very shortly with a new video.